everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. Um, today we're going to be kind of continuing my series on looking at um, words and phrases used in and around Christianity, um, thinking of it actually, what does that actually even mean? Um, and today we're going to be thinking a bit about what it means to be a child of God. So let's head on into it. I guess we start off by saying um, it's possible for us to be, be children of God because of what um, Jesus has done. Through his death and resurrection we can um, be adopt we're adopted into the family of God. So if you if you come to Jesus and you accept him as your Lord and you ask for forgiveness um, then you are welcomed into the family of God. And I just want to read a few verses from the beginning of John's Gospel. So this is John chapter 1, verses 12 to 13. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. And um, I think for me, the first thing, the kind of the, the key point, the like heart of the matter of what it means to be a child of God is to have God as your father. Um, I mean, that's, that's kind of maybe is a bit obvious. Um, as Christians, we would say that um, part of our, our identity, our identity is a child of God. So much of that. Is, is through, we learn who we are as children of God through learning what it means um, that God is our father. As we learn about particularly the father's love, what that means and the kind of depth, the depth of the father's love, that's then how we can kind of put in perspective what it means for us to be his children. Um, and that's just, yeah, that's so, it's so key, isn't it? Understanding the Father's love. And as we grow and mature as Christians, as we um, kind of learn deeper what it means, what the Father's love is, uh, the nature of the Father's love. Um, I mean, all the, all the songs come to mind, um, how deep the Father's love for us is reckless love, is never failing, never changing, unending, unconditional, wholehearted, eternal love. When, when we understand the Father's love, the, the depth of it, which I don't think we'll ever fully, fully be able to grasp this side of eternity. But as we grow in our identity as children of God, it's through understanding the fullness of the Father's love, the love that we can never escape, we can never run away from, we can never out sin, we can never, um, yeah, he, he's going to pursue us. It's a pursuing love that's actively seeking us out. The uh, parable of the prodigal son comes to mind. Um, that beautiful story that the, the image of the father running to his son or to his daughter um, and, and the, the cultural background of that story actually is the father saying, I don't care what other people think of me. Um, I'm, I'm going to sacrifice, sacrifice myself for the good of my child and isn't isn't that just what what he did when he sent Jesus um, to suffer and to die for us it's the depth of the father's love um, yeah and that's just it's just so cool uh, yeah there's always so much to think about um, there's always more to to grow in when we think about the father's love um, and that means that he's going to care for us. He's going to be with us. He's never going to let us go. He's never going to leave us alone. He will always, always be with us. Um, and yeah, and that's that's really cool as well. But it, but another aspect I think of of being a, a child of God means that God's going to teach us and He's going to discipline us as a father um, does for His children. Um, he loves us and because of that love he he wants to guide us he wants to teach us how how to live um and that's that's also really cool um that bec 
because God loves us, he's gonna, he's gonna teach us and he's gonna discipline us. And I don't think that God um, wants us to experience pain or suffering, but God can definitely use that to help um, form us and grow us. So that's, I think, another kind of key point of what it means to be a child of God. And then also, I guess, kind of lastly, another aspect of being a child of God means that we are co-heirs with Christ to the kingdom. And I might do a whole another video about what that means, because I'd love to explore and think about that more, because I just I love that phrase that we are co-heirs with Christ. But to the kingdom of God. And if you haven't seen my video that I did on Pete Hughes book, um, all things new you should go and check that out but um, what that means for us to be co-heirs with Jesus to the kingdom of God means that we are we're partnering with our father with our daddy God to um, to bring the kingdom to make all things new on earth as in heaven um, to bring peace and love and joy here and now, we, we partner with God in doing that. And I think that's also a key part of what it means to be a child of God, is to do the Father's will, to um, to be, yeah, kind of in, in, in line with that and to work for God's kingdom now. Um, but also, as, as the song goes, in my Father's house there's a place for me, um, being a child of God, we are, we are assured. We are assured of our place in the kingdom. Um, in my Father's house, there's a place for me, um, and that's yeah, that's really cool. So I might just finish by just reading that verse twelve again, actually. Yet to all who did receive him, that's Jesus, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Um, yeah, I just love to encourage you today. Um, you're a child of God and that's not gonna change. You are loved wholeheartedly um, and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I have another video coming up um, next week, which is gonna be a day in the life um, of a new wine discipleship year student. Um, so check, watch out for that. And yeah, I hope you have a good week and have been enjoying all the hot weather. Although I have to admit, I am slightly fed up with being sweaty. But I'm not going to complain. Although I did just complain. I'm not going to complain because I love the one, the sun. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Yes. So God bless and I hope you have a good week and I will see you again soon. Bye.